If you've taught your dog to open the door, you might want to teach him to close it too. That's what we're doing today on Trick Time. Come and join us and let's give it a try together. Here's the criteria for the trick. On cue, the dog will close a door, drawer, or cabinet using its nose or paw to push it closed. Little nose. Good boy. Close the door. Good for you. Your dog can close the door with either his paw or with his nose. You can go with your dog's natural preference, or you may choose one or the other if you prefer. When he's gotten good at it, you can teach both if you like. For now, we'll start with closing the door with a nose touch. Before you start, it's a good idea to get your dog used to the click or slamming sound that the door makes as it closes. Practice a few times and give him a treat every time the door bangs shut. Good for you. Good job. Next, review the novice target exercises. Hold your hand or your target disc near the edge of the door and ask your dog to touch it a few times with his nose. Yes. Touch. Good. To teach close the door, we'll be using a paper target to replace our hand or our target disc. A sticky note works perfectly. Just stick it on the door and ask your dog to touch it. Praise and reward when your dog touches the new paper target. Next, open the door slightly and ask the dog to touch the target again. After a few tries, he may bump it more firmly and cause the door to move a bit. That's exactly what we want. Reward with a jackpot if the door happens to bang shut. Touch. Good job! At first, you only want to open the door slightly so that even a small bump will successfully close the door. Good job. Gradually, tear your paper target into smaller and smaller pieces until it's just a dot on the door and finally nothing at all. With time and practice, as your dog gets better at it, you can open the door wider and ask your dog to bump it again and again until the door closes completely. Good boy. In the early stages, you'll be using the familiar cues of touch or paw that your dog already knows well. Once he can close the door consistently, you can add close the door as a new cue. You'll be using both for a little while until your dog learns to respond well to close the door. Then you can phase out the extra cues of touch and paw. If you want to teach your dog to use his paw to close the door, it's a good idea to teach a paw target or the shake a paw trick first. Then you can progress to the door training. You'll be using exactly the same progressions as above, but asking your dog to touch the target with his paw rather than with his nose. Good job. Ready? Good for you. Good job. Pop. Close the door. Good boy. As with many tricks, dogs develop a style of their own. Some dogs prefer several small nudges to close the door, and others just give one big shove to slam it closed. This can be just a cute trick, or it can become something more. At our house, Zorro loves to open and close the cabinet door for us to throw out the garbage or recycling. That's all for today, but come join us again as there are many more tricks to learn.